Miss Sarah Ha. You already see the title. You already know what this is about. I can't wait, you guys. I have been waiting uh, for this video. I had to order my stuff online. I've been so busy. I wasn't able to go in store. I prefer to go in store, but hey, you do what you got to do. And my package came in. I am First so excited. First of all, to keep it all the way real, I ordered two times. Okay, so the first time I ordered, I ordered just a trial size of certain things to see how I would like them. I always like ordering and trying new things. I ordered the trial size to see if I like them. Fell in love with them, baby. So I had to go ahead and order the next size up. I may not have ordered the full size. I don't know. I ordered either the full size or the next size up. So let's go ahead. Okay, and so one of the first things that I purchased in a trial size was from K.I. Lee. And this is the Eden Juicy App. Now, I've done my research on this. I love fruit scents. I love gourmand scents. I love floral. I love them all. But only certain ones seem to work with my chemistry. And, you know, I kind of did my research. And this was one I wanted to try. And I absolutely love it. This is Eden Juicy Apple by K.I. Lee. And when I tell you, it smells so good. It's not definitely all apple but it's apple oh i cannot wait to pair this with my hey humans apple matcha the lotion and body wash it's giving me that vibe oh it smells so good so i definitely wanted to give this one a try i did not order this in the full size because i do love it but i just kind of want to see how it blends with me i wanted to give it a little bit more time on the other hand I did um, order the K.I. Lee, and this is Vanilla 28. And when I tell you, it's everything that people say it is. Okay, so as you can see, I've already, <laughs> I've already been dipping it. I've been dipping in both of them. I love both of these. They both are good. They both are really good. But this is just amazing. The vanilla, oh. It's a vanilla with a perfume smell. It has a perfume smell to it as well. It's not just like vanilla. You know how perfume has that scent to it. It smells like a perfume with vanilla in it. And when I tell you the layering capabilities of this, I've been just layering it with all different kinds of stuff. So I'm going to make another video of things I've been layering this with. But it is so pretty. When I tell you this is so pretty and it's definitely worth it, I went ahead and got the big bottle oh, this is the packaging that it came in and this is Kali vanilla 28 and the notes on it are vanilla orchard and it's tonka absolute brown sugar amber woods and musk so y'all yeah, i tell you this is so so pretty i absolutely love it so i have not been using this um yet i've been using the um travel size but this is the bottle and i've seen some that have the light color of liquid and then i've seen some of the dark but this is the dark color and that's what i wanted i wanted the dark but that's the one i wanted that's the one i got so happy but y'all it is so so pretty and this is definitely to me <sighs> worth the money i think it's super pretty so that is one of the purchases that I got. So next up, you guys, a while ago, I had purchased a Toka. Have you guys heard of Toka perfume? I had purchased a whole like sampler of Toka. Love it. Absolutely love it. And there was one in particular that I wore, wore out. I loved it. And it was a floral and the name of it was Florence. But I could not remember the name because there's like Cleopatra, Stella. There's all different names for this little group of perfumes. And I could not remember. So I went, uh, when I went on Sephora, I'm like, I really want that perfume. I can't remember the name of it. But I looked at the notes of all of them. And it's funny how I gravitate towards certain notes in florals, any kind of cologne. I, I, I kind of gravitate if it's, if it's, um, if it's gourmand, I gravitate towards certain notes. If it's a floral, I gravitate towards certain notes. So when I looked at the notes of this, I'm like, I know that would smell good on me. 
I know that one will smell good on me, but is it the one? So, do you know, guys know on Sephora's app, they have this little thing at the bottom, and it tells the persons, it gives, you know, their review, if they gave a good or bad review, and it gives their color of their hair, the texture of their hair, the skin color, skin type, eye color, and I kind of found through my ordering that people with brown skin, brown eyes, curly hair, you know, whatever, it just seemed to, they're, whatever they liked seemed to be what I liked. I don't know if you guys paid attention to that or not, but I found that very interesting. So when I checked out the Florence, um, people who were similar to me love this. They absolutely love it. So I went ahead and ordered it. I took the shot, I took a chance, and I ordered it. And baby, this is it. <laughs> this is it. I absolutely love Florence. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Toka, but it's a very beautiful um, feminine, feminine perfume line. So gorgeous. I'll give you the notes. So the notes are, the top notes are pear, apple, bergamot, grapefruit leaf, and the middle notes are gardenia, tuberose, and jasmine, violet leaf, and iris. And the base notes, base notes are musk and white woods. Baby, those notes are all of what I love. I love pear, I love apple, I love musk, I love white woods, I love vanilla woods. I just love everything about this, the gardenia. So pretty, so pretty. So if you guys are just looking for a pretty feminine scent, if you're kind of like the same things I like, you might definitely want to give this a try because it lasts on me all day. This scent is beautiful. I get so many compliments. It's so pretty. And this is Toka Florence. Okay, so I actually took another chance on another fragrance that I've never smelled before, pretty much a blind buy, but in a way it wasn't because I had a likeness to the people who loved it. Brown skin, curly hair, you know, certain things. I can't brown eyes. That's what it was. So, and it's this sun fruit. Have you all ever heard of this? And it's by Ellis. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm going to get the bigger bottle of this. When I tell you, this smells so amazing. I also looked at the notes. You know, I checked out the notes. and But when I put it on, it is so pretty. The only thing is a dab. It is not a spray. So I wonder, can I buy a little something to just spray something to fit the bottle? But it smells so good. And I had a little combination, y'all. And I, I, If I don't write down my combination, I forget what it was. But it smells so good. I absolutely love this. Now, I'm going to give you the notes on this as well. Now, this is a new fragrance. Um, it's Sun Fruit by Ellis Brooklyn. And it's a floral fruity. For women and men. Because I was just about to say. I catch a little masculinity in there. I catch a little bit of masculine. But it's still nice. This thing is fly. I'm telling you. Okay. So it's a new fragrance. It is launched in 2022. The top notes are pear, fig, bergamot, and plum tree. So pretty. And the middle notes is jasmine, orange blossom, iris, and cyclops, cyclamen. I don't know what that is. Base notes are coconut, musk, amber, and vanilla orchard. But I absolutely love this. And I saw so many people giving it a good ring. It smells so good, y'all. I really love this. This is like a summer, springtime scent. I can't wait to be in this. I'm going to be all up in this. It smells really nice. It's, pretty, it's unisex. It's definitely unisex, but it's nice. It's nice. And it's a sun fruit. So glad I got this. I'm going to get the bigger bottle. Yep. Okay, so you guys, I had to go ahead and do it. I had to get it. I had I had to go ahead and get the Bomb Dia Cream. I already have the 40 in a smaller size, but I had to get the big one because I love it so much. I spray, spray, spray. I love it so much. It's my favorite. I, I mean, I just love it. I love it. And this is such a pretty smell, you guys. And I saw on TikTok 
Um, a couple of girls, maybe 19, 18, 19, said it smells like your grandma. I don't know where they got there from because so many other girls, even their age, was like, no, it smells great. It smells good. So this might be one that you have to smell for yourself. But the notes in it are black amber plum and vanilla woods. That's some of it. Let me go ahead and get the rest of it. Okay, so here are the notes. The top notes are plum, black amber, and cassis. See, I don't even know what cassis is. It's, like, it's giving me something different that I've never smelled before. Maybe that's that. And it also had the middle notes are orchard and jasmine. Base notes are vanilla, woodsy notes, and musk. You guys, when I tell you, this stuff is so pretty to me. I mean, it's so many people who absolutely love it. Now, I haven't opened this one, so... So let's smell this one. I'm just going to spray in the top. Mm, mm, mm. When I tell you this is a mood lifter, I can't even explain it. It's like it can change your whole mood for me. That's what it does for me. I can't say what's going to do for you. But it changes my whole mood. It's so pretty. It's soft and it's sweet. Uh, vanilla, it's, it's mostly vanilla, and I guess the plum and vanilla mixed together is so unusual. It's just pretty. I can't even explain, I can't even explain it. I can't even explain what it smells like. Mm. But it's soft and it's sweet. That's all I can tell you. It's like a soft, sweet, something super soft. It's a super soft. But it's a big smell. I can't explain it, y'all. You have to smell it for yourself. I hope you like it as much as I do. But as you see, I fell in love with this stuff. I had to go ahead and just order. I just had to have the big, the big size. Had to have it because I'm just blowing it out of <laughs> this little one. It's, it's, it's like, let me show you. And I keep, I keep making myself not use it. I try to. But just getting that far down was making me panic i'm like i got to get the rest of it because it really it just makes me feel so pretty it makes me feel good i can't explain it but try it y'all try charosa number 40 i don't know i love all charosas but this is my so favorite the next category i want to go to is skincare so i have been wanting to try tatcha you guys this is the time of the year to get all of your stuff that's a little bit pricey go ahead and buy it or if you just want to try new things so i have been trying tula i have the tula line i absolutely love it but i wanted to try something else a little bit stronger so um i think i saw ai do great talking about this i've been watching so many videos on people's purchases you guys for the sephora sale so yep i cannot wait to try this and this is a deep cleanse and it's a balancing and exfoliating cleanser um, it's clarifying Japanese um, Rufa fruit extract is what's in it. So, yeah, this is by Tatcha. I cannot wait to try this. I've heard good things about it. So, um, I definitely purchased this from Tatcha. I also got this. And this is the Dewy Skin Cream. And, yeah, I cannot wait to try it. But look at that bottle. Isn't that cute? And this is from the Tatcha line. Um, yep, it's a plumping replenishing cream. So I've heard good things about this as well as the cleanser And yeah, I cannot wait to try both of these amazing So you guys I'm definitely trying to work on my skin with summer coming up and I work every day I do not wear makeup. I only wear makeup pretty much on Sundays or if I'm going out or if I'm doing something special So you you know, I really want some good skin. I want my skin to be better textured brighter everything So um, this is one that I purchased um, It is the watermelon um, Not the watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops and this is supposed to be very good for brightening your skin immediately and over time it's just supposed to really make your skin glow so i definitely could not wait to give this a try i thought this was so interesting and um let me just smell it this is what the drops look like and it really doesn't have a strong watermelon smell i can smell a scent of it 
but nothing strong. So like I said, if for the summertime, I'm really trying to get my skin together because I don't really wear makeup a whole lot. But um, yeah, I cannot wait to give these a try. It's supposed to be really good. So along with my Tatcha skincare and my um, watermelon drops, baby, I hope I'll be glowing, okay? I hope I'll be glowing. Now moving on to makeup, I have been hearing so much about the Dior lip oil. I had to go ahead and get some of this is the lip glow oil and this is the color that I got I wore it yesterday and it was amazing really pretty really glossy really shiny not heavy I did it did feel sticky it was just nice it was just a nice lip oil so definitely um, definitely worth it to me I enjoyed I've been trying a lot of different glosses a lot of different things you guys so I'm just trying things just to find out what my favorites are but um I do like this it's really nice a little bit more pricier I would say for lip oil but I like it it's good so next up is um from Charlotte Tilbury um and this is the airbrush flawless finish and I love it I have it on today yeah I like this I really like it a lot and I think I got it in the medium brown and here it is so I just wore a little foundation and then I just put this on top I like it it's real smooth and this was by Charlotte Tilbury this is another item that I purchased so the last thing that I picked up was a Sephora colorful blush and this is the color that I got you really can't even tell I have it on I have it on today but it's super light but I thought that was super pretty it was on sale I just love their sale, you guys. I love it. I love it. I, I really had a big discount on my savings. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for my Sephora sale haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know if you tried any of these things or what you did try. I know you probably did your little shopping if you were able to. Let me know what you got. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed so you can see more videos like this. And hopefully, I'll see you soon. Take care.